like that. So here's a video on how to change a key fob. This particular fob will run over at Dog County. Uh, and I lost the keyring section. So I bought a replacement. And I'm going to use this video to show you how to swap the blade over on the innards, which is the circuit board, the battery, and the immobiliser. So to open up the key fob, you pop the blade out. And in the blade, well, behind the blade, here's a little groove that you can put a flathead screwdriver and put that in. And hold the screw. I'm going to hold the key fob in my left hand and twist with my right hand with a flathead screwdriver to open it up. In this section where the buttons are, there will be the circuit board. And if this was working, which it isn't, if I take the circuit board out, that light, that section is where the light will light up. So I'll show you this. So if I press the unlock button, that will light up. So to open up this section, uh, we'll push down on this with my right thumb and up on this section with my left thumb. So it'll go like that. There we go, it's popped open. So as you can see in this section here is the battery and this section is where the circuit board would have been. I'll cover that in a minute. I'm going to open up on the works. To remove the blade, you have to prise off the emblem with a pick. I used a screw, I used a dart. When I used the dart, what happened was it damaged my emblem. So I'd advise against it, but if you get replacement emblem, then you don't really care. So underneath here is a fluid said screwdriver. Unscrew that. As I unscrew that, you will notice that this begins to spring open. So as I slowly open it, I'll close it shut, remove the screwdriver, remove the screw. And I'll show you. As I release that, you will see the spring. I'm going, to it down. I'm going to hold the blade down and then lift the top up. The reason why there's a spring is because you twist the blade against the spring to create tension. So when you press the button, the spring forced the blade to flip out. A couple of things you need to be mindful of when you're doing this. The button itself, there's only one way it can fit in. Because on the reverse of this, besides the two lugs, there's this little notch, which is where this notch fits in. So if I drop this in, I'll show you what's going on. It needs to go that way and then drops in, which means it comes out fully. If you don't do that, and if it's at a daft angle or whatever, obviously it won't come all the way through. So if I fit it in correctly, then it will just get stuck if you spin it around until it drops in. Another thing to note inside here, there's a a groove cut inside that. The reason for that is if we grab the spring, the top of the spring, there's that little groove, that little part of the spring, that notch or prong fits inside there. And you need that to fit in. So the button. Starts to twist the spring and introduce that tension because you need that tension to flip the blade up. On the bottom section, there's this little prong that sticks out. That goes into that groove there. So to refit, we'll put that in there. And we'll fit this. In there, as you see, and I'm going to fit that prong in this section.
to make the blade want to pop out. I'm going to twist against the direct. I'm going to twist in the direction of closing the blade. Because then when you press the button, it will want to pop out. Yep. So that's how you fit it. Now, where's the immobilizer? The immobilizer. The immobilizer chip actually lives where the blade is. So when you insert the blade into the ignition, the immobilizer is close to the barrel. And the immobilizer sits in one of these grooves. So if you look on eBay, it's about the size of a long grain of rice. So that's how you replace the blade. Be mindful of the button and how the spring sits. Right, so I'm going to show you how to get to get the circuit board. So here's my key. I'm going to just pull this apart. Yep. And in there, because this was the eBay replacement, I put the immobilizer in that hole and then just covered it up with some rubber glue so it won't come out, so it won't pop out. And that's what my blade holder. Right, so in this one, I'm going to open it up to show you where the circuit board is. There's the battery. I'll get the old battery. The old battery was a CR2032. See if you can see the brand name on this. There we go. A CR2032. At the top there. So that's the battery you want. You can get smaller ones. I'd advise against it because they're not as tall. Therefore, you don't get a consistent contact with the circuit board contacts. So that's the uh, old one. Let's get rid of that. So that's the new one. There's the circuit board. There's buttons, so if I tap that a few times, it pries it out. Back of the circuit board, there's the buttons. That's pretty much it, so I'm going to quickly put everything back together now. So there's the circuit board, there's my battery, I'm put that back on top, there's only one way it can fit together. You should snap shut. There's my key fob. Put that together. Okay. 